Dear friends, welcome to Know Thyself YouTube channel. Good morning. Hope you are all staying safe and keeping well. I sincerely thank all of you who have subscribed to this channel and follow the channel. If you find the contents of the videos uploaded in this channel useful, please subscribe to this channel and click the notification or the bell icon so that you can be notified when a video is uploaded. Kindly share the videos with others or on the internet. In this episode of Sunday Reflection segment, we present the homily for the 18th Sunday of the year based on the liturgical readings of the sea cycle. The theme of the 18th Sunday's liturgy is Growing Rich in the Sight of God. Francis Gonsalves, in his book, Sunday Seeds for Daily Deeds, compares and contrasts the high-profile lives of Princess Diana and Norma Jean, who is more known by her stage name, Marilyn Monroe, to highlight the passing nature of earthly glory. Princess Diana's wedding in 1981 was watched by 750 million people and her funeral in 1997 was viewed by 2.5 billion people. At her funeral, singer Elton John brought tears to the eyes of hundreds of mourners in Westminster Abbey when he sang the song Candle in the Wind. Interestingly, this song with the line Goodbye Norma Rose was originally written for an equally glamorous woman, Norma Jean, who assumed the stage name Marilyn Monroe and died on August 5, 1962 due to an overdose of sleeping pills. Diana and Marilyn share many things in common. Both were beautiful and wealthy, photographed by the paparazzi worldwide, yet unhappy in marriage and both died tragically in the month of August at the age of 36. Both were young icons who were snuffed out like candles in the wind. Their tragic lives speak volumes about the impermanence of every earthly blessing. The readings and the liturgy of the 18th Sunday of the year point to the passing nature of earthly glory we are told that the greedy acquisition of wealth, power, name and fame is futile because everything and everyone is here today and gone tomorrow. So the meaning of life cannot be found in selfishly holding wealth and possessions or in striving to achieve power, name and fame, but only in sharing our riches with the needy thereby becoming rich in the sight of God. In the first reading, the author of Book of Ecclesiastes expresses a ruthlessly honest pessimism about the prospects of finding true happiness in the greedy acquisition of earthly goods and selfish hoarding of them because when the hoarder dies, he goes to eternity empty-handed and his heir may squander all his hard-earned wealth. Even when he is alive, wealth and power gives man worry and sleeplessness. Since life is transitory and passing, greedy and selfishness is not worth the effort. In the second reading, writing to the Colossians, St. Paul says that the ultimate desires of human heart cannot be satisfied by what is here today and gone tomorrow because we have been made for what is above, the heavenly treasures that endure. Hence, one must not get caught up with idolatrous greed for wealth and influence, but must focus on faith life which involves giving first priority to Christ in our lives. According to St. Paul, this call for putting to death our old self of immorality, impurity, passion and evil desire and putting on the new self made in the image of the Creator 
and grounded on the power of the risen Lord. In the Gospel of St. Luke, Jesus, by telling the story of the foolish rich man, warns against all forms of greed which take our whole attention away from God and neighbor and centers on ourselves alone. Jesus calls the rich man foolish for three reasons. Firstly, the rich man never saw beyond himself. He was aggressively possessive of the good harvest and did not want to part with even a small portion. He was foolish because he left other people out of his possessions. Secondly, the rich man never saw beyond this world. While planning for a good life here, he left matters of his soul and eternity out of his plans. Thirdly, the rich man never saw God as the source of his blessings. He left God out of his life and failed to be grateful to God as he saw the good harvest as the fruit of his hard work alone. As a result, though materially rich, he failed to make himself rich in the sight of God. The readings and the liturgy of the 18th Sunday of the year invite us, firstly, to share our God-given blessings with others as Christian stewards. We must be generous in sharing our time, our material goods, and our talents in Christian stewardship. Even if we are poor financially, we may be blessed with intelligence, goodwill, a sense of humor, or the ability to encourage, inspire, and support others. God expects us to give our thanks to Him for all these blessings by sharing them with others for His glory. God will always bless us for such unselfish generosity towards the needy. Secondly, the liturgy today calls us to control every form of greed in our lives. Greed takes different forms. For some, greed may be the desire for approval and praise of others. For others, it is uncontrolled desire for power, money, control, or fame. For still others, greed takes the form of excessive and sinful indulgence in eating, drinking, gambling, drugs, or sexual activities. All these forms of greed focus the attention on satisfying oneself. Therefore, greed diverts our attention away from loving God and our neighbor. Finally, the liturgy today calls us to understand the passing nature of this world and its goods. Our life in this world is passing and transitory. We may have all the good things of the world today and may not have them tomorrow or we may not be there tomorrow to have them. Hence, Though we live in this world, our life should not be of the world. We must never live our life like the foolish rich man of today's gospel, forgetting God, our eternal destiny, and our neighbor. As we move into this new week, let us ask the Lord to give us the grace to be aware of the passing nature of our life in this world, to be generous in our sharing, to curb our greed for things of the world and never forget to focus our attention on God, our eternal destiny, and genuine care of our neighbor. Amen. Thank you for watching this video. Stay blessed until we see you again with another video.